everyone in year three and welcome to Monday's lesson. So we have been looking at a poem to do with a park and what it was like before lockdown and during lockdown. Um, and today we're going to start planning some of our ideas. So um, says, let's have a go at writing a list poem to describe a different favourite place and how lockdown has changed it. Pick a place or an activity that you want to write about. There are hundreds of possibilities, here are just a few. So on Friday, you chose a place and you just wrote a little bit about it. Um, so some of you might have chosen the supermarket, some of you might have chosen the park, some of you might have chosen the street, uh, the shops. You can change that if you want today, but whatever you choose today will be what you write about for your actual poem because we're in the planning stage now. So some other ideas are a classroom, a school playground, a sports club, a park, your grandparents' house, your friend's house, a picnic, a birthday party, a swimming pool, a football club, because obviously all these things are very different now compared to what they were like before lockdown. Now, obviously, I chose a park to write about, um, and I just named the park and called it Corston Park. So if you're writing about a swimming pool, you might say the gala baths in Warsaw. Or if it's a birthday party, Tom's birthday party. So try and give it a name. Then I thought about how I felt about that place before and after lockdown. So I felt happy, then sad. So before lockdown, all these places had a positive um, atmosphere. They were very happy places. And then after lockdown, or during lockdown, they had quite a sad atmosphere. So to create moods, we're just going to look at a few things. So what I did was think about um, seven or eight things that I might find in the park. So here they are, the nouns, the slide, the trampoline, swing, trees, picnic, bench, the choir and a seesaw. And then I thought about verbs, doing words. Now remember, I talked about personification of the day, where objects um, can do human things, human birth. So none of these objects here can dance, but by them moving, so maybe by the swing moving, I can I can compare it to them dancing. Now here I've written down seven verbs that are positive. So you don't dance when you're sad, you dance when you're happy. So those are positive verbs. You don't giggle when you're sad, you giggle when you're happy. You don't tend to laugh or sing when you're sad, these are things or verbs you do when you're happy. So I've just written um, some verbs down that the objects might do when they were happy during lockdown. So dance, squeal, giggle, sing, laugh, jump, chuckle. And then what I did was think of seven things or seven verbs that the objects might do when they're sad. So sulk is to be like upset, moan, sleep, tremble is like shaking, shake, cry, sob. So these are things you might do when you're sad. So what I'm asking you to do today is to think of seven or eight objects that you might find in that uh, place that you're talking about. Now if it's a birthday party, the objects might be cake, balloons, um, certain food, uh, presents, swim pools, so there's going to be water, floats, and different things like that. So you'll have different lists. And then think about happy verbs that these objects might do and sad verbs that the objects might do. Now I'm just going to show you another thing. Um, here, I haven't chosen happy or sad. I've chosen excited and bored. So they're opposite moods. So a place that you visited before lockdown might have been an exciting place. And then afterwards, during lockdown, it might turn into a boring place. So some exciting verbs are jump, scream, run, bounce, squeal, shout. And some bored ones might be sigh, frown, yawn, shuffle, moan, groan. And then again, we've got two opposite feelings place might have come across quite confident and then afterwards quite scared so we've got 
the confident march, stomp, stride, strut, swagger, boast, and then scared, shake, shiver, whisper, cry, stare, sigh. But I want you to stick to happy and sad because I think you'll find that easier. So on your purple mash, you will write down eight nouns, so eight objects that you will find in the place that you have chosen to talk about. So remember, you can choose wherever you want. You chose somewhere on Friday. It could be a birthday party. It could be um, the town. It could be the swimming bath. It could be the supermarket. It could be school. And then I want you to think of verbs, which are doing words, that would make the um, noun seem like it's happy. And then again, verbs, so doing words, that would make the noun seem like they're sad. So what, what type of verbs would the objects do if they were happy? What type of verbs would the objects do if they were sad? Okay, if you're stuck, you can message us on the blog. Have another look at mine. That This is to do with a park. I don't want you to do a park because I've already done it, so you can choose somewhere else. And then you can message us on the blog if you need any help. If not, I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye.